Hello and welcome back to the video darkroom. I started my journey in photography about 50 years ago and my first camera was a Zenit E. That was a Russian built camera and it sported this 58 millimeter f2 lens and that was really exceptional at the time because all of my friends their cameras their single lens reflex cameras um, had 50 millimeter lenses with a maximum aperture of f3.5 so this f2 lens was really excellent and i thoroughly enjoyed photographing all sorts with it and getting that kind of separation that the wider aperture allows you to achieve in your photographs the lens that I'm holding in my hand right now is not the exact physical lens that I had 50 years ago. This one I came by in a rather interesting way. My son bought it for me as a birthday present, not realizing at all that it was the same lens that was the very first one that I used when I started out in photography as a teenager. So it was an incredible coincidence that he decided to buy me this lens to get some experience of using a really retro lens and it turned out to be the very one that I had used myself as a teenager. Here's a selfie as you might call it today. It was difficult to take selfies in those days because there's no viewfinder where you can see what you're capturing so I used a mirror and here beside it is another one that I took just a few days ago with the Helios 58mm mounted on my Sony A1. So ignoring the difference in the camera and the fact that I have less hair than I had then, you can see that the lens is the same. When I put this lens today onto my Sony A1, the camera doesn't even recognize that there is a lens there because there are no electronics contained within it. So you have to set the camera so that it will shoot without a lens and then you're back pretty much to the same situation that I was in when I was shooting with this lens on the Zenit, which was a fully manual single lens reflex camera. The process for taking a picture on the Zenit was to set your shutter speed, then pre-select your aperture, open up the lens to its widest aperture of f2, and therefore the minimum depth of field to make focusing easier, you would then focus on whatever subject you're shooting. You can then finally stop down to the pre-selected f-stop on the lens and take the picture. Clearly it was a little bit of a process to go through. There are a few things that modern mirrorless cameras like the A1 will do, even with this lens on it, that you couldn't do on the Zenit. You can, for example, use aperture priority and have the camera select the shutter speed or you can use auto ISO. Neither of those were available on the Zenit. Obviously, there was no auto ISO if you were shooting with film. So why might you want to try shooting with a lens like this? I've been out recently on a couple of photo shoots with this lens since getting it. One of them was a bit of street photography in Shoreditch in London, and the other a rather open landscape photography photo walk at Virginia Water in Surrey, which is just outside London. I find both shoots really interesting and enjoyable because it makes you much more intentional about every image that you shoot. Every image takes a little bit of time and it requires you to frame your subject and decide what it is that you're capturing. What is your point of interest? What's the purpose of this shot? It causes you to think about your exposure more than you probably would have done if you'd been using an automatic camera. So you're thinking about your shutter speed and your aperture. You've got the process of focusing, which isn't just autofocus. You've got to manually focus. And as you do that, you're looking a little bit more at the depth of field that you're going to get from this aperture. And so then you stop down and you take the image all of that process probably takes you about a minute. And to be honest, to get through it and slowing everything down as you're working, I think really enables you to get a little bit more back to the first principles of why you're shooting that image at all and what it is that you're trying to capture. So going out and shooting fewer images and shooting them more intentionally, I think has really helped me to enjoy these photographic outings. 
And you can see from these images that the background separation from the F2 aperture is really quite good and the overall image quality is very acceptable indeed. So what was your first camera? What was your first lens? What lens do you use now? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. See you in the next one.